Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or bust. And today we're going to talk a little bit about my friends over at Icarus Precision. Uh, again, once again, they have created a masterpiece of aluminum art regarding a module. Now this is definitely not it, but I wanted to show you some of the things that they've done in the past that I've had the pleasure of participating in regards to reviewing these items and shooting them and just really thoroughly enjoying them. As a matter of fact, I posted something the other day saying that the only reason why I own any kind of Sig Sauer P365 or P320 is because of the stuff that they've actually done. Um, I don't really care for the 320s or the 365 as much as other firearms, but uh, because they created such an amazing module for it, I have completely stuck by these guns. They are just amazingly uh, built in regards to having those aluminum lowers. And more importantly, ergonomically, they feel great. They work great. I've never had an issue with any of them, um, except for obviously some of the Cerakoting that comes off after a while, but that's, that's to be expected, guys. You can see I kind of jazzed this one up a little bit with some Tyrant design stuff here. You can see the mag release, which is an extended mag release, the trigger and the trigger shoe, which is pretty awesome. And of course, the um, the magwell here. So some pretty nice stuff from these guys, too. I'd say definitely check them out, especially if you're looking for some nice little uh, some things, including a back plate there, which is pretty cool. A lot of bling on this gun. But this video really isn't about this. So we're going to move this aside. Now, for those of you out there who follow the channel, you guys know that recently I had the opportunity to grab one of these, which is their, their Evo line, and uh, I raved about this gun. The additional hump in the back here, everything about this gun just was amazing, and it still is. Um, you know, I've, I've been carrying it, so it's got a lot of, a lot of nicks on here, so uh, it's definitely used well, well, and it's been wearing pretty decently. You know, obviously, you're going to lose some of the... Uh, the anodization, and if it was Cerakoted, you'll lose some of that as well. It just uh, seems to, you know, not, not necessarily hold very well, but it is only basically paint. The anodization is a little different. Uh, it's a little bit better, but uh, again, if you're using the gun, I mean, you can't really cry about it because the gun should have some nicks on it if you're really using it. I mean, ultimately, the comfort of this gun has just been amazing. It carries very well, even though it's a little bit bigger on the slide because of that comp here and also just the, the flared magwell. Now keep in mind, somebody asked me how I did this. Uh, this actually had to be uh, slightly welded uh, to keep on the comp. So on, honestly, in this configuration, it isn't the best one, especially in New York State, because you can't really clean it thoroughly uh, just because of the way this was attached to it. And that's part of the reason why it sucks to live here. But what I'm going to show you right now is what they're going to be coming out with very shortly. As a matter of fact, if you've been following them, you're going to realize that this is kind of their newer model, which is based on the new P365 macro. Now you can see that the thickness on this grip from front to back <coughs> is a little bit uh, longer or wider, I guess you could say, circumference-wise. You can see it's a little bit meatier. Now, again, in the thinness of the grip, you're not going to really see that. Uh, it's about the same width as the old one here or the uh, less newer <laughs> version of it. But from front to back, it's a little bit thicker. That's to, you know, obviously account for the magazines that come with the macro. You're also going to know that there is that incorporated little magwell here, which is pretty awesome. Again, it makes it just super easy to be able to put your magazines in there. Um, I do have their Icarus Precision slide on here. Again, still have not bought an optic, guys. I know, can't help it. I'm cheap. But if you want to help... Please donate to the channel through Patreon. That would be great so that one day I can be a big boy and, uh, you know, pay for one of those beautiful 507Ks. But what you're going to see here again is, in my opinion, probably just a little bit more of an adjustment if you're into the 365s. Now, keep in mind, if you have an Evo, the Evo, in my opinion, was the pinnacle of it. I mean, it just fits great. The beaver tail on there is awesome. The ergonomics were improved. Even the texturing on the grip is improved. The macro actually, I think, adds a little bit more to that. Uh, the texturing on this is a bit more abrasive than on the Evo, but it's not abrasive where it kind of digs in your hand. Now, for example, I actually got my hands on the Smith & Wesson Metal Frame Series, uh, the 2.0, and it was nice, but the, I'll tell you, man, the texturing they have on the, the back strap and on that front por portion of the grip, it was pretty intense. I mean, it was much more abrasive than this. Uh, it was actually a little uncomfortable, to be honest with you. Uh, when I was holding the gun, it just felt like it was way too abrasive. You're going to notice here they put the texturing as well, almost right there on the, like a thumb pat there, which is pretty nice, fits well on the hand. You can see you have the double-sided uh, thumb rest. So when you're shooting, 
you can actually push down on that firearm to mitigate the muzzle rise. Um, also, you have your full rail. Again, a couple of undercuts here, which in my opinion, it seems like the undercut, which I could be wrong, but just based on the way it feels, it feels like the undercut is slightly higher in this area here. So it allows that, that finger of yours to have a little bit more area to rest. So if you have a thicker finger, it actually feels like there's a little bit more room under this one than on the actual Evo. Again, I could be wrong, but that's just what my impression is by touching it and kind of playing around with the gun. Uh, regards to the, the little hump on the back, you guys can see it is still there. It is not as necessarily pronounced, or it might be as pronounced just a little bit longer, whereas the Evo kind of stops right about here. This one extends up a little bit higher. Again, you can see that has a pretty good undercut here for the beaver tail. The beaver tails are pretty much the same. I think, yeah, I think they're about the same. So it doesn't look like this one's any longer or shorter. It's the same beaver tail. And uh, again, you know, you're basically looking at something that kind of can accommodate those. I, I believe there's 17 round mags that come with the macros. Now I do not have one. I actually have a pinned 10, uh, 15 round that is pinned to 10 because we suck. And you can see that at the bottom here, there's a, a base plate that I put on there to be able to be able, uh, you know, have an extra length in the grip. So again, you can see that even though it's not a macro magazine, it still fits in there. However, I would love to be able to get a macro magazine and then pop that in there. And obviously I'd have to pin it, but just to see how it would fit perfectly. But as you can see, it ejects just fine. No issues, locks back, it's, it's a beast. I mean, to be honest with you guys, if you didn't pre-order it, you know, it's too late. They closed down the pre-orders right now. Uh, these are going to be available late November into December. And uh, man, it, it's hard to say, like, can they do any better? I, I just don't even know how they can, because every single time I get one of these, I have to say to you, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical that it's better than the first or the second or the third. And every single time I get my hands on them, they've done something just a little bit differently that actually will please people once it touches their hands. You know, for example, with the little hump in the back here, they've actually scalloped it a little bit. So you have a little bit of a thinness here and still that hump. Whereas on the Evo, you don't really have that. It's just a hump and they didn't really account for that. So I don't know if it's because of the grip length or whatever, but let me tell you something. This is, in my opinion, this is such a nice feeling gun. And the crazy part of it is that this carries very well because it's thin Yes, the grip is a little bit longer. You do have the magwell as well, plus the longer magazine. But at the same time, the amount of rounds you're getting in a gun that's this compact is, is pretty impressive. And the fact that you have now the aluminum lower and a good slide, a nice little trigger setup. Okay, and you can see this is a, an FCU that I bought separately. But uh, it just, it's amazing. So once again, Icarus Precision, guys, they are no joke. And if you have been on the fence about buying one of these, you know, you probably may be a little bit smarter than everybody else who actually bought them the first round and then they saw the second round and liked it and bought it. And now the third round and then the fourth round, fifth round, so on and so forth. I mean, they just keep advancing this line and the line is just getting better and better every single time. So I've been extremely pleased with this. Like I said, they don't pay me to do any of this stuff. Um, yes, they send these lowers to me for free and I appreciate it, but it gives me the opportunity to review this for all of you guys and tell you whether or not they're good. And I, I will tell you, they listen. If I have a suggestion or if I have a comment about something, it's something we will definitely talk about and they'll look into it and they will make changes based on what people tell them. And that's why I love this company. I love all the people there because they're just great people and they keep on innovating this line and every time they get better and better. So leave some comments down below. Tell me what you guys think about this one. If you've pre-ordered it, tell me if you're excited. If you uh, are looking for one, tell me if you want to get one and why. But man, this thing is just, like I said, rock solid. Now, again, would I, if I had to pick between the two, it would be almost impossible. Um, this one, obviously, with the round capacity, for those of you out there, it's probably a much better buy. Uh, but again, you're going to get a longer grip, and you can see that right there. You know, the Evo is right at my pinky. Whereas the macro is a little bit longer. I could actually fit another pinky if I had six fingers. But if you're looking for a fuller size gun, maybe you got bigger hands or you want a winter carry that, again, carry capacity wise and just size wise and functionality, I could see why people would want this. So like I said, leave some comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, thumbs up and share as you'd like. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a great night. Stay safe. And as always, freedom is never free.